technology opens a window to a wealth of knowledge, but also to other, engaging ways of learning. For many, it provided an education lifeline, as it did during the pandemic. It helps us bring out fresh ideas, lets us test them, share them, and engage with each other. But technology does not always live up to its potential. Many cannot access it, cannot use it, cannot use it to teach. Technology may not fit into the way we learn. It may override rather than to support. Connections can break down barriers, but nothing beats human interaction. We learn best from each other. Good impartial evidence when we want to choose the right technology is scarce. Freedom to create online is transformative, but not if the content can't be trusted. When grand plans are made, who pays is often forgotten. How we pay with our humanity, with our privacy, and with our planet too. The 2023 GEM report asks us to question on whose terms we're using technology in education. Is it appropriate for what we need? Does it leave anyone behind? Are we tracking when it's worth the investment and honest when it fails? And is it setting us off on a path we can sustain? Our decisions must keep the learner at the centre, because not all technology is progress. Learners should take from technology only what they need, so that they can use it safely and critically that they are empowered to learn without it too. So that when we use technology, it is only on our terms.